YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another LEGO tutorial. Today we're gonna go through the Simpsons 2 blind bags, the CMF, the collectible minifigures. So here we go, enjoy! So here's the whole lineup of the Simpsons 2, Series 2 CMFs, the collectible minifigures. And I just got the whole set just recently, the other day, finally got the last one. And I'm going to share with you guys my secrets to finding these minifigures, how I felt up the packs. So my first kind of strategy was feeling for the legs. As you can see here, there's a bunch of short little guys. And there's a bunch of tall guys. So first thing to do is distinguish the legs. So if it's movable, if you can feel the legs are movable, it's probably a tall person. And if it's short, it's probably a short person. Next thing to do is look for the accessories. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of tiles, two by two tiles, a lot of them. So you'd think that, that it would be hard to distinguish. However, there's little things to look for and I'm gonna share with you right now. So first on the list, there's Homer Simpson and Dr. Hibbert. As you can see, the heads are very similar. They both have the plates torso and pants so the thing to look for first would be the movable legs so you figure out it's a tall person then look for the squares and then look for this shape of a head and to distinguish between the two of them this one has little bumps on the back this is the only tricky one of all of them so pay attention to that number two on the list is Marge Marge is fairly easy First thing to feel for is this head. Basically, the head is a big giveaway. Also, this tile. There's, um, I think she's the only one. No, there's two people with this tile. Uh, her and also Hans Molman. However, she's the ones with the wiggly legs plus the head. But if you feel a tile, look for short legs or wiggly legs. If it's short legs, then it's probably going to be Hans Molman. So if you feel this. 1 by 2 tile and short legs, Hans Molman. 1 by 2 tile and wiggly legs, then it's March. Plus if you feel this piece here, this is a dead giveaway, that's March. 3 and 4 on the list is Lisa Simpson and Maggie Simpson. The animals are a giveaway that you're going to get either one of these because these animals are pretty easy to feel but it's hard to distinguish between the two of them in the pack. So the way to distinguish is if you feel the short little legs, then you know that it's Lisa. Or if you feel, see the bottom of this one piece? It's pretty rough and it's pretty easy to feel this roughness on the bottom when you're feeling it through the pack. Or if you just feel three pieces, a head, body, and this big chunky thing, most likely it's Maggie. These ones are pretty easy to feel, plus the head. The heads are giveaways that you can feel the spikiness of the head. These are the only ones with spiky heads. And then just distinguish between the two. Next up is Bartman. And I found a bunch of Bartman when I was feeling through the packs. And the main thing to feel for is the slingshot. This is very easy to feel. You can feel a kind of Y shape. And then you know right away it's Bart, plus the short legs. But this is the giveaway right here. And then we have Millhouse. Again, look for the short legs. Short legs distinguishes Mill, well not Millhouse, but just a short person. And then you got this cylinder piece here. So look for short legs, cylinder. Once you feel the cylinder and short legs, you know it's Millhouse. This cylinder almost kind of feels like the squishy cup from the comic book guy, or even the mug for um, Edna Crabapple. However, the short legs are a giveaway that it's Millhouse. Here we have the comic book guy and Mrs. Crabapple. These two are kind of similar because they both have the square tile, they both have the long wiggly legs, and they both have an accessory here. It's kind of easy to feel for this mug just because it does have a little nubbin at the end. So you'll feel like a cylinder plus something sticking out and then you know that's a mug. Or if you feel a cylinder and a little sharp piece on the top, then you know that's the squishy cup. That's the way to distinguish. It's also kind of similar to Millhouse, except Millhouse doesn't have a square and Millhouse has short legs, but Millhouse does have this cylinder 
cup. But those are the giveaways for Comic Book Guy and Mrs. Crabapple. Next up we have Martin and Martin's giveaway is this. It doesn't feel like a square, it kind of feels like a rectangle. However, if you kind of thought it was a square, Martin's the only one with something like a square and short legs. So right away you can feel the short legs and if you feel something that feels like a square or a rectangle, you know for sure it's Martin. Next up is Professor Frink and his big giveaway is this beaker. It's very easy to feel the beaker in the blind bag. You feel like a top here, a skinny top plus a fatter, wider bottom. And you know for sure that's the beaker. It's the only thing that feels like a beaker in the blind bag. We already went through Hans Molman, like I said before, kind of similar to Marge Simpson in the fact that you got this tile here, but the difference is he has short legs. So if you feel a uh, one by two tile plus short legs, you know for sure that's Hans Molman. Next up is Selma and Patty. These hair pieces are very easy to feel in the blind bag. So if you feel something big and clunky like this, you know it's one of the other. And you can feel the bumps too. However, if you feel a 2x2 two two tile plus a clunky hair piece, then you know for sure it's Selma. If you feel like a clunky, squarey thing, you know that's a purse and the hair piece. So it's easy to distinguish the two. Pretty easy. Dead giveaways. Next is Groundskeeper Willie. And this is probably the easiest one to feel just because of the plunger. This is the only thing that feels like a stick. And you can feel the stick very easily in the blind bag. So if you feel a stick, that's Groundskeeper Willie. I already went through Mrs. Crabapple. Similar to the comic book guy, has this 2x2 two two square plus the mug. The mug's kind of easy to feel because it has a little nubbin at the end. Plus the wiggly legs and the square, you got Mrs. Crabapple. Next up is Smithers and Smithers' big giveaway is actually, he has two pieces. He has a plate and a tile. You can feel this plate very easily in the blind bag. Plus, if you think you have two squares, you know for sure it's Smithers. He's the only thing with two little square pieces. His headpiece is kind of a giveaway because it's the only flat headpiece. And wiggly legs, you know it's an adult, but you can feel this right away. So if you feel a square with little bumps, you know for sure that's the plate. And then you got Smithers. And last but not least, we have Dr. Hibbert. We already talked about Dr. Hibbert, how he's very similar to Homer Simpson in the shape of his head and that he has a two by two tile and wiggly legs, but the giveaway would have to be the bumps on the back. The difference between Homer and Dr. Hibbert is Homer's bald, no bumps, lots of hair, bumps. So this concludes this Lego tutorial for today. This is the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye.